Hello there, Ziyuan. So have rescuers been able to establish a channel of communication with the miners trapped inside? Yes, um, so currently I want to, first of all, the number has not changed yet and uh, this has been uh, part of the news that uh, have been dragging us uh, right here. But also, as you just mentioned, the situation here is still very challenging. And uh, without further ado, let me bring your attention to uh, the situation behind me. So first of all, my camera is pointing uh, to a construction site. This is uh, a project by the Water Conservancy Department. They are trying to ensure the downpour in the past couple of days will not flood into to a rescue uh, location. So uh, the project will be uh, completed tonight. Um, and then uh, as the camera is moving a little bit uh, towards uh, right hand side, uh, some of the heavy equipments uh, that are lighting up, you might see a little uh, lights bl uh, blinging as well as some of the heavy equipments there are uh, currently uh, ongoing. It's the rescue location. So right there, um, about 19, uh, 19 trapped individuals are directly below that location. This is according to what the official had told us on this side. So uh, we are on a higher point that can overlook. Uh, in addition to that, I want to share with you the reason why the rescue is so challenging and we still do not uh, establish any communication with the uh, 19 trap individual is because first of all, this is an open area uh, coal mine. So when they finish collecting and uh, the coal production, they pour a lot of dirt, uh, mud as well as sand to cover the area. And after days of downpour, once the workers enter uh, to the uh, location, um, the surface sunk. So the cause of the accident uh, has been confirmed by officials, actually a roof clap accident. Um, because of the challenging situation here, especially on the surface, what they are uh, doing now, first of all, is to a stable and solidified the layer uh, on top so that heavy equipment for rescue can enter the location. Second of all, what they are uh, progressing right now is to uh, pour, after they have solidified the layer, they will uh, dig holes underground to get as close as possible to those traps individual. In addition to that, uh, after uh, they dig the hole, they will inject cement as well as water glass to solidify the the mud flood in the tunnel. After that, uh, after the two steps are completed, they would then clean the mud out and trying to reach uh, those trapped individuals. So now we are on the second phase of the rescue mission and we hope uh, some of the good news will come in the coming days. Back to you. Sure, very complex rescue operation there. Thank you so much, Ziyuan, for keeping us updated on that.